but it's not Crack Rock Creek, it's just Rock Creek. And uh, it's up in the Blue Ridge Mountains above Blue, uh, Blue Ridge, Georgia. And it's wilderness camping. If you don't carry it with you, you don't use it or eat it or drink it. So you've got to carry everything. And my wife, I used to make so much fun of her about, you know, the kitchen sink hadn't been put in the truck yet. But when we would get up there, you'd turn around and you'd say, you know, I give anything, we had a corkscrew and she'd pull one out of her purse. It may not be the fanciest one in the world, but she would. And we went up in a, in a downpour of rain one night carried some of the most beautiful ribeyes you've ever seen in your life, but it was raining so hard, I couldn't get the grill lit. So I cussed and fussed and moped and fumed and raised several different kinds of hail, but that still didn't get my steak cooked. I remember her looking at me and saying, if you just sit down and shut up, I'll get us a steak cooked here in no time at all. And she did it over an open fire. And she got a fire started in that torrential downpour. She did it up under a tarpaulin. And the only thing we had to use as a tarpaulin was an old military poncho that I had. And she stretched that bad boy out and cut and formed tent poles for it, or canopy poles for it, and built that fire up under that thing and cooked those steaks on the open fire on a grill that set over the rocks and we had baked potatoes and salad and ribeye steaks for supper in a downpour with a good bottle of Merlot <laughs> she set our tent up without getting one drop of water inside of it um, it's just and you women are problem solvers, man. It just beats all I've ever seen is 